Hey, Blessings family. So, um, I'm Yana. I'm just coming to do this quick little video, um, this video of encouragement. So, um, I'm going to get back to the podcasting at some point in time, but I think I said on the last video that I did is that it's all about the timing of the most high right now. He's doing a lot of pruning in me. He's doing a lot of work in me. And, um, one of the things I always say on this podcast on this platform is that I don't want to be a part of the noise. So I'm very intentional about what I say and what I get on here and teach because it's important that I'm going to be held to a different standard because I'm running my mouth and um, um, I want to make sure that um, I'm right with the Lord before, you know, I know I'm right with the Father, but I want to make sure that, you know, what it is that he's teaching me in this season, what I need to learn in this season. But let me get to what I'm doing this video about. So, um, like you guys, if y'all, if you guys have watched my videos or you listen to the podcast, you know that I'm really, really big into the dream life, like things that happen in the spiritual realm, which is our dream life is, um, those are things that the enemy or that God is showing you that, you know, things, you know, the, it's all praise to the God that I serve. And y'all know that I call God, Yah, Yahuwah. Um, but all praise to the Yah that I serve because he will show you things in the spiritual realm before they happen or so that you can bind those things up in the spiritual realm. So last night um, I had this dream um, that I, I would say that I would say that it was a little disturbing, um, this dream that I had. And in the dream, it was basically like the death of something in my life. Um, it wasn't like someone dying, but it was like the death of something that the, that, uh, it was just the death of something in my dream. And, um, in the dream, I remember agreeing with what I heard. I was like, yeah, you know, you're right. Um, and um, I remember in the dream, I told my mom, like, oh, mom, you know, this is what they said and this is what it is. And my mom was like, no, do you not? My mom said, look at it again. Do you not see that that's alive? And she said, no, you need to start proclaiming and decreeing what the word of God says about you. You need to decree and declare what God says about you. You need to decree and declare what you want to see in your life. You don't let you don't just receive what somebody said when I'm telling you it has life in it. And I looked at the situation in my dream that 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 I heard that was that the person said was dead. And I was like, it is alive. And um, I began in my dream, y'all. It was so powerful because I began to recite all these scriptures about myself. I was like, no, I am this and I am that. And this is alive and this will be well. This is well. And I just began to decree and declare all these things happening. And I woke up out the dream. Fast forward um maybe like eight eight hours later that exact it was like a parable eight hours later I go to I go somewhere and um it was like the same it, it was like I didn't even recognize it until right now that what I, what happened in real life like eight hours later was what that dream was about right so I'm on the phone with my mom because I'm like frustrated. Like, mom, this is what happened. I'm just like, and, and mind you, my husband and I earlier today were praising God. Like, you know, God has been so good to us. And we just began to share our testimonies of what God has done in our life. And like how people told us to walk away and how people looked at us crazy. Like y'all serving God and y'all life looked like that. Y'all serving God and this, like people said so many crazy things to us, you guys. And our, my husband and I were just rejoicing today. Like, babe, do you not, do you not even consider how good God has been to us? Like how he's brought us through this, how he's delivered delivered us from that like he has been so good to us and then I get home and y'all we got to be careful that's why we got to renew our minds on the daily that's why we have to make sure what we listening to what's embedded in our spirit because out of nowhere now mind you I was just praising God just because of his goodness I come home and I'm discouraged <laughs> I'm discouraged because I'm frustrated I got an exam tomorrow a final exam and y'all don't even know i'm so done with this daggone human anatomy um i'm so done with this daggone class and um, i'm frustrated because i have two babies running around the house i have to study for this exam like i have to get an a on this exam like i need to do well and i began to get frustrated and i started speaking stuff that just 
like my dream. I started speaking stuff like, man, oh, like just saying stuff that I had no business saying. Um, nothing crazy, but just agreeing with what I, what the Lord showed me in the dream. And I, my mom calls me and I'm telling her and my mom immediately corrects me and was like, no, you need to start speaking this. Like, no, you go get that anointing on. You go start anointing and you start doing this and you start. And it was on that phone call. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I seen in my dream last night. Exactly what I seen in my dream last night. And and I just began to like I just I began to take authority over the situation, over what um I was discouraged about. And this is what I'm came on here to say is that y'all we have to agree with what the word of God says. We gotta agree with what this word says. We can't get up in our feelings and start agreeing with what the enemy has said or what people are saying. We got to agree with what God says. And do y'all know that when I got up in my prayer closet, like literally had to walk in my prayer closet, I'm one of them people that when I'm going through stuff, I got to like, okay, okay, mama, thank you for the encouragement. I needed that, but let me get up off this phone because I need to go pray. Let me get up off this phone. Everything goes on do not disturb because I need to I need to get somewhere and pray. I need to be able to hear God. I need to get I it's time to shut things down. And um I get in my prayer closet and I get to getting to walking around. I just begin to walk this house and pray. I begin to decree and declare what the word of God says about me, the promises that are in this Bible for me. And as I began to pray, the Holy Spirit told me it is well. Like I don't know if y'all have ever prayed and, and it's like in the midst of you praying, God answers you. And it was like such a peaceness and it was such a peaceness. It was such a calm. And it was like God was showing me in the dream that this is going to be a situation that's going to come to try to discourage you. That's going to come and try to tell you that it's no life in this, but it is so much life in it. And 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 it's like so I, I tell you all the time, my spirit, the spirit world is more real than the, the reality world. OK, because by the time we see stuff here, it don't already happen up there. So we have and I know <laughs> I have accepted to some people that's watching these videos. I'm going to look like a fruitcake, a nutcake. I don't even care because I'm telling you, when you don't walk in the Lord long enough, you know, you begin to like you begin to you get to. You know, it's such a great thing to have spiritual intelligence that God will show you things before they happen. That God will show you your enemy before your enemy attacks you. God will show you the people that's with you and the people that's not with you. I'm telling you the other, like some months ago, I was praying and the father said, I'm going to show you their faces. And do you know the people that God has been showing me that I would have never thought would have betrayed me, that I would have never thought that I would have to worry about? It's some of the people that I just would have never imagined are the people that God is showing me. But he's also shown me in dreams that he's strengthening and he's giving me the fortitude to withstand, okay? So no matter what you experience and no matter what you're going through, no matter what people coming up against you, is God is giving you the strength to stand. And no matter what situation looks dead in your life, you gotta stand up and be firm and you gotta speak the word of God. I don't care if it's on its last life, last beep. If it ain't no um, flat line, and even then, God can cause cause that to raise up as well. So I just want to encourage y'all because I had to encourage myself. It was actually a holy correction, to be honest with y'all, because he just showed me that. And I, I consider myself to be someone really strong in the Lord, somebody who really takes the time to pray. And y'all know I'll get up on here in a heartbeat. That's why I'm clear about I don't get on here with all that yip yapping because sometimes you can be talking too much. You can be saying things that, you know, God hasn't said to you or giving you permission to say. And I'm intentional. Like, y'all, I cannot be out of place. I cannot be doing or saying things that God has not told me to say. And he told me to get on here and say this. And I'm like, Father, you know. Sometimes I, I, I just I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm so afraid to get it wrong. But even in, if I get it wrong, God is greater than my wrong. But I don't want to be up on here just running my mouth. That's a whole nother story. But what I just wanted to encourage you all is that speak life over your life. It is so, so, so important. 
I consider myself to be someone strong in the Lord. And even I had a moment today when I was speaking, knowing that I shouldn't have been speaking against it. Even if all things were as horrible as the enemy was trying to get me to believe, I still, still should have spoke life because I've seen God do some amazing, miraculous things. I've, I've shared my testimonies many times on the podcast, and I think I shared it on YouTube of how God has done things that to man and looked impossible. Men told me to go ahead and move on with my life and, and do things because God isn't going to answer that or that's not going to happen for you. But I'm here as a witness that God has done everything. I, I honestly can tell y'all the things that I have prayed for in my life, God has answered, you know, things that I've prayed. Um, some things I prayed, I thought I wanted, but the things that really matter, I'm talking about the stuff that like really, really, really matters, like things that are near and dear to my heart, things that um, weren't like, you know, selfish stuff. Um, just it's, God has been good to me. And um, and again, I'm talking about God Almighty, Yahweh, who has a son named Yeshua, the world calls Jesus. Y'all know I, I like to I'm convicted to do Hebrew, but for the sake of conversation, I don't have a problem saying Jesus a God. Um, as long as we're talking about the God and the the son of God, and we ain't talking about no other foolishness up around here. OK, been there, done that. <laughs> that train has done blew up and went someplace else because it, it ain't even on the tracks no more. Um, but yes, <sighs> stay firm in the Lord, stay firm in what the word of God says. Um, repent, y'all repent judgment is coming i don't care what people telling y'all i don't care what you know people like america nothing never happened yeah, it's gonna happen in america matter of fact the whole world is gonna go through judgment but um y'all just read read the bible ask god to come into your heart father i just pray for everybody listening to this video father and i pray that you make yourself known to them in a very personable real way that they will humble their hearts and that they will bow down before you and that you would show them your show them who you are are, that you are a great, mighty, powerful, awesome God who would not want to serve you. So amazing. And I thank you for your correction. I thank you for loving me in your correction. I thank you for all the sons and daughters watching this video that you love them. And I thank you that Father, that their life will never be the same, that they drop down their desires and that they will pick up what you want for them. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen. Y'all, um, sometimes my heart just weeps and mourns because we're living in a day and hour where people don't even believe in, in this Bible. People don't, people think that there's more than one way. The Bible says that that's a thief. If you try to go in another way, that's a thief. And I mean, I, I've actually... I ask, this is what I, I, I encourage you or challenge you to do. If you do not believe that this God is real, if you don't believe that this Jesus is real, then I just ask you to just like to ask him, Father, make yourself real to me. I'm calling on you. I need to know if you're real. Make yourself real to me. And I promise you, he, he is real. He is alive. I promise you that there's no other way. If you think that, you, you know, if you think you can call on them ancestors, don't, you know, you, you, you look. People may be offended by that, but look, I have to tell the truth. I have to tell the truth. You know, them ancestors are gone and they need to stay up in the ground or whatever y'all decided to do with them. You know, all respect. I'm being respectful about that. But, you know, I loved my grandfather. My grandfather was like the world to me, you know. But when my papa passed away, we laid my papa to rest. And, you know, I don't need him coming up out of there talking to me. I don't need him. You know, um, I don't need, you know, personally for me, I just, you know, once the, 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 they, they passed away, um, I just don't talk to the dead. That's just me. Now, there have been times where people have said, you know, my grandfather is coming to dream and may have said something, but we didn't have like no conversation. But some people say they have conversation. Look, I'm not even going to get into that um, because you just not supposed to be talking to the dead you guys like going to see mediums and and talking to the dead and i know that may be hard for some of us to receive because maybe someone near and dear to us have passed away and we want to commune with them and we don't want to let them go but i'm telling you there's so much comfort in calling on the name of the lord calling on yeshua calling on jesus you know like i said i call the hebrew name some people call the english name that's fine i'm not here to debate that 
do what you know as long as we call it on the son of god and and god okay um but this busy this wasn't even supposed to be a 15 minute video this was just me really wanting to come on here and just share about encouraging and and, and speaking the affirmations of god over your life so i love y'all family and i'll talk to y'all really soon um salt and light bye